so this will be the last video in type 1 and you can see that all these problems are super long and they are extra important for your exam now by type 1 what I mean is integral minus infinity to infinity polynomial by polynomial come on tell me the remaining part yeah this one this one and the limits and the method is super simple you just replace the limit with integral over c and you declare a contour including x-axis and the above part and put the blame on Cauchy's lemma by the way did you download Cauchy's lemma uh, study the statement and quote it on one side in your exam paper okay now we are going to learn something extra important and I hope now you know the three methods to calculate pole what is the first method S series expansion what is the second method limit that's the most important method and this method can be used only for polynomial by polynomial we saw that in the last video now let's move on to the question this question is super important because the convergence condition gets violated do you remember I told you the method can be applied only if the denominator does not become zero for a real number. So look at this question. It's obvious. I can see that very clearly. What will happen if I plug in the value 1? The denominator will vanish. What will happen if I plug in the value x equal to minus 1? the denominator will vanish anyway you can go for the usual drama like what you call integral over c z to the power 4 by z power 4 6 minus 1 etc 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 you do that drama and you call the contour like this and you can equate minus r to r plus c plus what do you mean by c plus the above portion and by Cauchy's lemma this will vanish when r tends to infinity and because of this when r tends to infinity the integral that we created will be the same as the question so usual drama okay now bad news bad news because I found the singularities and I think you know how to find the singularity can you see there are six roots not one not two not three six roots are there and one means one plus zero I I'm converting it into modulus argument form generalizing and I'll put k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And can you see I found the roots 1 by 1. Can you see the root that I guess z equal to 1. It's on the x-axis. And where is it? Yeah. e to the power i pi. e to the power i pi is actually cos pi plus i sin pi. And cos pi is minus 1. And sin pi is 0. So can you see? These two are going to give trouble. So I have a diagram here. And by the way, pi by 3 means 60 degree 2 pi by 3 will be 120 degree this will be 240 degree 240 degree means it went down and this will be 300 degree so you can see the singularities so I'll put a green here 60 degree I think 120 degree and something like 240 degree down here I don't care 300 degree that's fine don't care so this is good this is good this is a troublemaker because our convergence condition got violated but don't worry don't worry there is a method so in case they ask such questions in your examination all you have to do is you just bypass this because there is a troublemaker I am making a small semicircle or you can imagine a circle if you want a small semicircle with center minus 1 minus 1 was the singularity and radius will be negligible because according to Cauchy's according to Cauchy's lemma this integral will be 0 and also this integral will also be 0 so actually the given integral or the integral that we created can you see integral c is equal to integral minus r2 let's imagine the radius of this circle is like r so the center is minus 1 so this point will be minus 1 minus r2 minus 1 minus r 
plus integral over s1 can you see we are integrating like this which is going to vanish because of Cauchy and then from this point that will be minus 1 plus r minus 1 plus r to the next circle plus this one will vanish I told you Cauchy's lemma and then from here to here and from here to here and when r tends to infinity when r tends to infinity we will get minus infinity to plus infinity this integral will be gone this integral will be gone this integral will be gone so basically the same story but if you do not draw this picture and if you do not explain with the help of Cauchy's lemma and if you don't write this like plus 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 you may lose mark and it will be nice if you try it so same story you calculate the residues above the axis can you see I calculated the residue and I hope you understood how I got this think about it now I am not explaining numerator derivative of the denominator anyway I got the two residues and I want you to do this question and comment below I already tried it I got the answer I have hidden the answer inside this it will be nice if you can comment below the answer so I will be back with the next video in which we will discuss type 2 improper integration that will be minus infinity to infinity polynomial multiplied by sine mx divided by another polynomial so till then my friends bye